Hey, hey guys. guys, I'm Rihanna. And I'm Brittany. And, and we're the Love Twins. Twins. So lately we've been feeling like our closet's been a little stale. It's getting Very. a little sad, a little dry because we have not been shopping in a hot minute. So yesterday we made it our mission to go find some, you know, different silhouettes, um, some different colors, some different patterns. Just spruce up our wardrobe, bring it back from the dead. I just came back from the dead and they told me, you're still not that girl. We picked up so many pieces. You can see them all at the back. We've already kind of put them in outfits because we wanted to have them ready for y'all to show y'all how this was going to bring back our closet. But before we get into that, let's break down how we're going to do the video. Yes, yeah, so we're doing six categories. Um, Bottoms, tops, accessories, shoes, wild card, and combination. So there are six categories for you guys. So it's gonna be a long one. Get ready, we're about to get right into it. Okay, okay guys, sorry. Oh, and, and, and let me just tell y'all how much thrifting saves us, you guys. Because keep in mind, we got 31 pieces. Mm -hmm. 33 including the two that we got um, earlier. But 31 pieces, and based on the total, each piece was basically like $5.35. That's, That's crazy. Five dollars and thirty-five cents per piece. Like, bro, you can't beat it. You can't beat it. Run to your next thrift store. You have a washing machine. If you can wash your clothes, buy second hand. Go ahead and buy it. Wash it a few times and you'll be all right. You'll be okay. No. Save the coins. Okay, so we're gonna start off with bottoms. We've been needing some bottoms. I really didn't have this type of wash. We were kind of looking for something oh, that was- yeah, our both are similar. Yeah. I decided to get a boyfriend jean. So me and Brittany, we don't really like boyfriend jeans that much on our body type, but I decided to try it just because I was getting tired of the same old stale style. Mm -hmm. So these are these. I feel like they were in really good condition. And oh, they look like this. Y'all see them try on. I have um, Chica's Platinum Denim. These are super, super cute wash. I don't have a wash this light yet at all. It's almost getting to bleach, but I don't like bleach jeans that much. And these are like the next step down. It's a super cute. It's kind of like interesting fit. I don't know what the fit is basically, but they're super cute. Something very different that I have not tried out yet. So basically with these, um, like I said, I don't find them the most flattering jeans ever. Um, I'll show you guys how they looked without being covered up or anything. But I love the shape at the bottom of them. I love the, the rips. So I kept that showing. I just popped on a basic black tee with it. Um, and uh, I popped on a belt to kind of cinch my waist. I popped on a tote bag just to kind of balance the, cause it makes me look quite hippie. Like it makes my hips really accentuated. So I popped on a tote bag to really balance that out. And I think that they actually came out way better than I expected. You guys will definitely see that in some upcoming videos. And for me, like I said, these jeans were a very interesting fit. I think I've seen these a lot lately though, where it's kind of baggy and it's kind of tapered and it's kind of tight and it's kind of loose. It's just everything in between. Um, and so I paired this with a black and white scarf that I got for my pirate costume this Halloween. So you guys, recycle, reduce, reuse, recycle. I paired it with some crisscrossy heels. I kept it really basic because I really wanted you guys to, to focus on the jeans. And I think it's so cute. I'm really excited to wear these as well and just have some new jeans to utilize in our closet. So we're on to category number two, which is tops. Now, I already know, you already know y'all know where this is from, okay? I know y'all know. When I tell you Shein was a hot, it was a hot commodity, bro. Literally. So I got this top because I thought it was so cute. We don't have a lot of graphic tees, let alone graphic tanks. So that's why I grabbed this. I wanted it to be a little bit more snug than it is, but I can definitely rig that up some type of way. But it is brown and orange, which are two very delicious colors together. And I paired it with um, some other jeans that we got in this haul. The dark denim with like really thick stitching, which we have nothing like those. We've been wanting those for a while. And I paired it with also some clogs that we got from this thrift haul as well. So this whole outfit is thrifted. It is super cute, super casual. I love the colors together. All right, and then guys, I picked this one up. First of all, this looks sloppy right here, but y'all will see it. <laughs> um, we don't have anything like this in our wardrobe at all you guys because me and Brittany are not super super girly or super frilly or anything like yeah. that i like the pattern i love the little it kind of has like a little baby doll cap cut uh sleeve and all that when i saw this it was giving me you know out in the blue bells bro not blue bells what do they call those what bro blue bonnets you know you're out in the blue bonnets oh. you're out on the stables it's giving me southern twang like that's what it's giving i popped this on with a blue jean skirt and i popped it on with some boots it was boot scooting and everything else. And, boot scoot, boot. <laughs> and I popped this on with a brown bag. 
and I just thought it was super cute together. I think it's a little bit out of my comfort zone. I feel like it was just different. Um, you guys will see me style this a few times um, coming up in our future videos. Moving on to category number three, which is shoes. So we usually don't luck out on shoes, but we got mm -hmm. three this time. And y'all see, so y'all know ballet core has been in. Y'all know that ballet flats <laughs> Y'all are, are sick of hearing about it. Y'all are sick of seeing it, y'all are sick of hearing it. But here we are, we fell for the trend. We're into it now. And these bad boys we found, they're so cute. They're like these little ballet wedges. Like I have never, I love the <laughs> sheen on it. I've never seen this. And I thought it would be so fun to style it up. So I styled these with another piece that I got from the thrift store. It's this cute little scarf. It is so warm, so cozy. And I went ahead and kind of popped it on with something that was gonna be a little bit different because I wanted to really play with the colors and the patterns of the scarf and keep some of that ballet core in it. So I popped on this plaid skirt, um, some leg warmers, a little sweatshirt moment. Um, and I felt like it was really warm. It was super cozy. It was fun. I'm telling you now, I will be wearing it by next week. Moving on to my shoe choice for the shoe category today are these how cute are they like they're just slippers i don't have a whole bunch of like stylish little sandals to pop on um i am on my way to getting the little coach ones just just wait on it but <laughs> these are cute and comfortable so i was really excited to find these and with these i just kept it real cute and casual i put on you know some black like spandex and black shorts and another thing that i got from the thrift store which is a gray is it long sleeve i don't exactly remember you'll see but a gray top and i thought it was so cute and so low key you can just throw it on with like a little mini backpack or like a uh, fanny or something keep it real cute and you know casual i'll probably be throwing those on with an all black outfit or you know denim and just keep it real on the go with those but cute you know what i'm saying so love those numero cuatro it's accessories guys i am so excited to tell you guys about this and show you it i was in love with it when i saw it she ate when she found this bro it is a denim tote it has white lettering and it has a little button up here as the closure for the purse i mean and it's dark denim on the inside. Like you literally, it's I said, two <gasps> literally, I was so in shock. I love it so much. It is so cute. You can just bring out any basic outfit. So that's exactly what I actually did for you guys because I wanted this to stand out as its own piece. I just paired it with a black dress, a basic black dress, um, some knee high boots. And I think I'm gonna put on a utility belt. I'm not sure, but I really wanted to keep it very simple to let the bag this beautiful, beautiful bag speak for itself. Um, I don't know how much I'm gonna put in it or anything like that because it is very huge, but it's it's just cute. It's just gonna be it's just gonna be there. It's just gonna be there, period. Aww. Here is the second of second bags. You guys. <laughs> this one is so cute. Brittany also picked this one out. I love this because we didn't have any bags in this color. Mm -hmm. We mostly had either black, white bags. Or we had like huge pops of color, like red, green, all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But we felt like this one was nice and rich and it was like a royal shade. And let me show you up close. I love the two-toned element of this. I love the suede with the leather. I felt like it was mature. It was grown. It was kind of getting us out of our, you know, streetwear, sexy vibes. And But this one, I kind of got more boho vibes, which is how I ended up styling it. So I paired this with the skirt that we got from the thrift store. It was so unique because me and Brittany do not have a midi skirt in our closet. Can you actually believe it? Like what kind of, what styling channel does not have anything in there? But we got a midi skirt that I thought would go perfectly with this. It was giving me boho vibes. So I piled it on with this cute little necklace. It has these maroon kind of rubyish gems. It has this nice gold hardware on it. And it's super, super cute with this bag. It basically perfectly matches. I popped that on with a cream top and some boots. And I thought it was so, so cute. It was definitely giving me all the boho vibes I needed. And I will be wearing this with a coat and everything else later on in the winter. So yeah, I'm super happy to have this piece in our wardrobe. Moving along, moving along to category number five. And that's going to be the combination round.
So basically, this is gonna be our outfits that we like the most that pair two pieces together from the thrift store. I picked out these slacks. So number one, I needed some slacks for work. But also, I just thought these were so cute. The cut of them is perfect. Um, I love the coloring of them. It's like a navyish gray shade. And they're kind of flare, actually, which I did not realize, but I really like. And then I paired that with this polo shirt that we got from the thrift store. It was so cute. This little polo moment matches perfectly with the pants. And I felt like um, them together just was a lot of fun. It was a monochromatic look. Then I popped on this oversized jacket. I thought it really balanced it out. It gave it more of a cool girl element that I needed for my style. And then I popped on these cute little boots. It really made the cut of the pants perfect at the bottom. It gave me some waist. It gave me a little bit of balance. And I thought this outfit came together so cute. I'm so glad that we got the slacks. I'm looking forward to styling the polo and you will see it like I said, like I said in the beginning and all the outfits in some of our upcoming videos. Okay, and my combination outfit is very simple, very basic, but basics that we needed, okay? So it is a long sleeve, a basic black long sleeve, but you do have a slit and you do have some fun stitching here at the top. So that is why we grabbed it because you can never go wrong with, you know, an elevated basic and then we grabbed this cute little mini skirt and we do have some denim skirts but not in this color and it also has some blotched you know bleach pattern it has like a bleached pattern on it that is super super cute and also a lot of our denim skirts are too big this one is a lot tighter so we're super excited about that so i just paired those together with some clear and black heels just to keep it cute and simple. Um, let the pieces stand out and I love them. I'm super, super excited about wearing this skirt. I don't know where I'm gonna wear, but I'm gonna find something, you guys. I'm gonna find something. All right, guys, I'm sad. It's our sixth and final category, which is a wild card category. This is just basically our favorite funky piece or multifunctional piece. It's something that is a wild card of an item. So that is our sixth category. Let me just throw this in now that we do have a part two, as you read in the title. Um, this is part one, but we'll have a part two and it's going to have the same exact category. So it's going to be super fun. So make sure you're watching out for that. So I am the queen and I'm telling you the queen <laughs> of styling scarves up as like multiple different things. Like I'll make it into a skirt. I'll make it into a top. Um, pretty much everything besides a scarf. So I chose this one. I saw this in the thrift store. I thought it was so beautiful. It's so vibrant. It's so blue. I mean, come on. Wear it with white, wear it with light denim, wear it with dark denim. You, can, you can't go wrong. So I just paired these with a pair of white shorts that I have and it came out super cute. I paired it with some blue platform sandals and a white purse. It is so clean and cute and classy and simple and I absolutely love this. I'll probably put it on top of a purse as well, tied around a purse to add some accessory or even, you know, maybe be risque and wear it maybe as a little mini dress. We shall see, but I'm, I adore this scarf and you will see it later. Okay, so my wild card piece, I chose this This one as my wild card specifically because you will see it is so unique. It is so it. different. I've never seen this. And I just <laughs> thought it was, you know what, I honestly, you'll, you'll, just have to, you'll just have to look. So first of all, it's a little clutch. I think it is so cute. It has all of these little elements at the top. It is Ooh. so sparkly Ooh. and pretty. You can hold it so many different ways, but this is how you cannot tell. I don't even have words. I don't even have words. I'm so excited to style this. Now this is a multifunctional. Like I said, I just chose this one as a wild card because I think it is so fun. And so I styled it with another piece from the thrift store as well. I styled it with this cute little skirt that we got. It's long, it's maxi. We never had a skirt like this. Um, we don't have a lot of gray either. So a gray maxi skirt was definitely gonna be brand new. And I styled that with a monochromatic look. I wanted to go for this dark gray top. I just cinched it up, made it really cute and gave me body yaddy yaddy like I wanted. And then I styled it with tons of silver accessories because of course I had to show off the bag. The bag was the star of the show in my opinion, but I loved it. I will be styling this bag in so many different ways, street style, upscale, I don't know, we'll see. But I love it. All right, so that about sums up part one of our first thrift haul of 2023. 
we loved everything we hope that you guys loved everything as well and let us know down below if you guys are looking for any specific pieces to spruce up your wardrobe if you're thrifting them if you're shopping them online mm -hmm. just let us know we want to want to see how y'all are vamping up y'all's closets for 2023 yes and don't be shy comment down below interact with us we kind of want to see what you guys think don't forget to go ahead and keep an eye out for part two because there's some whoo that has some heat in it too. So make sure you're keeping an eye out and we'll catch you in that video. Bye. Bye.